Good morning, everyone. I'm Derek. Welcome to There Will Be Cars. On this channel, I review new vehicles and I bring you my driving impressions. I also attend manufacturer and media events. Today, I'm at the Texas Auto Riders Association's 2020 Texas Truck Rodeo. Today, I'm gonna to be driving a variety of crossovers, SUVs, and trucks, on-road and off-road. Ultimately, I'm going to vote along with my colleagues on the winners of a variety of categories, including the SUV of Texas and the truck of Texas. Ram was kind enough to bring the all new 2021 Ram 1500 TRX to the rodeo, and I'm gonna get a chance to drive it. In case you didn't know already, Ram has built a true competitor to the Raptor. It's got a beefed up frame, Great breathing, you got the functional scoop up there, the hollowed out letters, Bilstein suspension hardware, 18 inch wheels. These are the available beadlock wheels, 35 inch rubber. This one has the available bed mounted tire rack. And of course, a supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi V8 under the hood. In the T-Rex or TRX, whatever you want to call it, it generates 702 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. Quick correction, I'll actually be taking this one on-road and off-road, but all the uh, same highlights apply, scoops, cool hood, and of course, 700 horsepower. This one just has the standard wheels, 18 still with 35 inch rubber. And of course, no bed-mounted spare. They got the, uh, the tonneau on this. Take a look at the interior. Got that new flat bottom steering wheel, paddle shifters, T-Rex branding there. Get this commemorative badge. And new for this truck, the console mounted shifter. Standard Uconnect 12 inch screen. There's even launch control in this truck, which is important because this truck can hit 60 miles an hour in four and a half seconds. And by hitting those arrow buttons, I can switch between the eight available drive modes, including Baja and Sport. One really cool update for 2021 that the T-Rex is available with and that other 2021 Ram 1500s are available with is what you're looking at right there. That's the head-up display. And this really cool rear view mirror camera. Then right here on the giant 12 inch screen, got it on the drive modes page already. And as you can see, the more street oriented settings are on the left. So you got sport, tow, snow, and auto. And then right here, you've got the more off-road oriented drive modes. Custom, mud, sand, rock, and of course, Baja. If you happen to be on another page like you know, media or whatever, and you want to get right to the performance pages, just hit this T-Rex button. That's what I'm going to call it. But uh, <laughs> I, I think a lot of you out there are going to call it T-Rex too. I have a feeling. It, it makes sense considering what this truck is going after. Uh, but anyway, that's a hard and fast button to get to the performance pages and the drive modes and all that kind of stuff. Speaking of performance pages, yeah, you got timers, all your different gauges and everything, and really cool graphics, real sharp, real modern. You can do your 60 foot, <laughs> eighth of a mile, quarter mile. I, I never thought that would be a thing to really measure in a high performance off-road truck, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, when you have seven over 700 horsepower, it makes sense, even G-Force. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling there are forums out there where screen grabs are just going to be swapped around constantly. See who gets the high score. And this would be great for off-roading so you can tell what your articulation and state of your transfer case and all that stuff is. Down here, get some more on and off-road settings. So parking sensors, traction control, and then these cool upfitter switches. All right, everyone, the moment has come. Going to take the Ram T-Rex on-road first and then off-road, but I have a uh, company with me, so if you guys want to introduce yourselves. I'm Adam from Texas Garage. And in the back, uh, so kind to be my cameraman. I'm Jeff Roselli. I am the chief engineer for the Ram T-Rex. All right, 
Cool. So obviously right now, um, you're running in auto mode, which is our all around best compromise uh, between suspension control, steering, and then trans. Mm -hmm. We offer again for the on-road modes, we've got sport, which really firms up the suspension. Also gives you a quicker shifts. Uh, it'll hold gear longer to keep the engine in its already high power band. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for us Midwesterners, obviously there's a snow mode that probably doesn't do you folks much good, but- <laughs> What's snow? <laughs> it's that white stuff that you only see in movies. So that is uh, obviously a, a much more aggressive uh, stability control mode and also uh, second gear starts. Again, trying to just keep all that power under control. And then obviously we have a tow mode, right? Uh, and that's really about, again, shift schedule and, and also uh, the suspension, right? We want to keep the vehicle as, as comfortable as possible regardless of the load you're pulling. Yeah, oh definitely, yeah. And this, the, if I remember correctly, payload on these is about 1,300 pounds? 1,310 for payload and 8,100 for towing. There's always that balance between off-road capability and payload. For sure. Uh, the, the primary um, focus of the vehicle is, is high-speed desert running. Yeah. Um, so that definitely tailors the suspension package to something that's ready and capable of absorbing large impacts quickly, right? Oh yeah, definitely. The same suspension architecture as a Ram 1500, um, but obviously with all unique suspension, the front forged aluminum control arms are three inches wider per side. Uh, the rear has much longer stamp steel control arms. And then you've got the shocks with the remote reservoirs as well, right? Correct, correct. Those are fully active shocks. Uh, they operate on both the rebound and compression side. 13 inches of wheel travel up front and 14 in the back, right? Correct. We're real proud of those dampers, just the control forces they're able to generate. You know, we talked from 22 pounds up to one ton per corner, just massive damping forces. Oh, wow, okay. And we, obviously, it, the system works in conjunction. There's four ride height sensors, one at each corner, mm -hmm. plus three accelerometers. So we're always monitoring what the platform of the, the body is doing from a roll or a pitch or a heave and the suspension adapts. Very important when you're zooming at a hundred miles an hour on the sand. Yep. And you know, taking jumps and stuff. Right. Now here on the road, the steering's definitely got a weight to it, you know, and it already feels a little sportier just from a visual sense because you got the carbon fiber package in this particular truck and then you got the flat bottom steering wheel, the suede like microfiber sections in the wheel. But yeah, it, physically as well. It's, it's got a nice weight to it. Uh -huh. You got these thumb bumps here so you can really just lean into the curves. It's an ugly turn, but it'll work. <laughs> Gotta get used to using a console mounted shifter on a Ram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really proud of that console mounted shifter. It, it really adds to the sporty character. Obviously works in conjunction with the shift paddles, but it also frees up, like we talked about earlier, some space on the up on the IP to, to give you your TRX unique, I'll call it command center, where you can not only function through the drive modes with the redundant hard buttons, but also, you know, launch control and the rear locker switches are all there as well. And then you can rip off these manual shifts, you know, with the, the lever instead of the shift paddles if you want. Uh -huh. Let's see, so, all right. I figure I'll put it in sport mode. You'll feel the firmer suspension, heavier steering, and uh, also, quicker firmer shifts. Cool, all right, I'm ready. For its part, the fully active transfer case also shifts to a more rear uh, torque bias. Oh, okay. All right. Straight down here. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. A truck this size shouldn't feel that smooth and quick. Like, I've just never been in anything like it. Wow. I just wish the speed limit was higher out here. <laughs> Let's see, maybe build up a little bit of a gap. Other 
really neat features of the transmission and the paddle shifters is if you hold the downshift paddle, um, it will downshift to the lowest possible gear at that point without exceeding red line. So it's kind of a, again, a shortcut button to get you to the lowest gear possible. Oh yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this just on road, and these aren't, you know, very fast limits out here. Just on road, this feels fun. I can't imagine, yeah, going out to a place like Red Sands in El Paso and just dune bashing in this thing. <laughs> Was for you all. Wow. <laughs> this is insanity, and uh, I'm okay with that. Obviously, we're real proud of the performance of the truck, but I think also just the usability and drivability, right? When you get into the throttle, the power is there. Uh, really, really strong, wide torque, uh, torque band, and you know, I, I don't think you really suffer in any way for having both this performance and this adaptability. Can't wait to really test one of these more in depth and yeah, experience more of all the engineering that you all put into this. But just from this short sample, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> I think there's gonna be a ton of these out on the road as soon as possible. So Adam, as the man behind the YouTube channel and site TX Garage, what are your thoughts so far? It's a pretty nice truck. <laughs> you can't complain with a bunch of power in an off-roading truck. Oh yeah, and then yeah, just the, I, I mean I've always loved the, the cabins of these new Rams and this is, takes it up, you know, a notch in terms of materials and sportiness, but also just the, uh, the unique hardware like the shifter, the steering wheel, like it makes it feel even more special. Now I do have bad news for you all, um, but it's kind of good news too. Like Jeff was saying earlier, you know, this was built for high speed off-roading. Now here at the Star Hill Ranch, we're not able to do that because we don't have a vast expanse of sand, but what we do have is a technical low speed off-road course. And luckily the T-Rex has a rock mode and has, you know, various uh, hardware and software features that allow it to do that as well. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you how it does on the, uh, you know, chunky rocks and stones out there. To put the vehicle in the low speed uh, rock crawl mode, you put the transmission in neutral. Mm -hmm. Select four low from the button bank, the TRX button bank. There we go. And it will stop flashing when you're in four low. You can pull it back into drive, and then I usually select rock mode from the right side display menu. Cool. Okay, right. so then your only other choice is just above the aux two button, below the display is the select speed control. Mm -hmm. So when that button is pressed, mm -hmm. your shift paddles will now turn into speed control levers and they will control at 0.6 mile per hour increments or one kilometer per hour increments. Um, you can, between obstacles, you can override select speed control with the pedal just as normal, mm -hmm. uh, as normal high speed cruise, we like to call it low speed cruise. And uh, when you get back to the obstacle, uh, the vehicle will resume control and bring you down to whatever your selected speed was. Right. <laughs> sounds great. Keep my thumbs out of the spokes. is equipped with a rear locker uh, for 
for off-road, both low and high-speed conditions. However, um, you'll, you'll find that on most of these obstacles, the articulation is such that you don't need to lock the rear axle. Oh, cool. The ramp travel index is 605, which is a really respectable number, especially for a full-size truck. Get a little more flex in this next section. of that articulation and you know with this truck with this power with its looks even when you're not flexing you're flexing Piece of cake. Get a lot shift as you as you get past 3,000 RPM. Oh, okay. Man, it sounds so good. <laughs> We're real proud of the exhaust, obviously. It's, yeah, it's I, the longest exhaust that we've ever paired with a 6.2 supercharged engine. Oh, okay. Um, so, you know, to get that. V8 character, we couldn't just depend on the sound coming out the rear outlets. Uh -huh. So we worked real hard with a lot of the, the resonators that are under cab mm -hmm. to make sure we had that authentic V8 note coming through. Oh, okay. Well, I, I would say you all succeeded. And then, uh, you know, you got the blower wine obviously too, so that's, that's just great all around. Yeah. Real good balance of, you know, of supercharger noise as well as exhaust. Just so that you know you're driving something special. You can get the front mounted camera on this, right? That's correct. Cool. Oh yeah, I got a hug. Put the right. Make sure there's any pinstripes on it. <laughs> stairs I don't know if he wants me to go on the right or the left you're gonna go on the right Hardest thing about that was just seeing him <laughs> over the hood. The rest was easy. No slip, no worry about a slip. Definitely no worries about torque to get over it. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> We're definitely real, real proud of our low speed torque control. And also, you know, the, the Goodyear Wrangler Territory tire. And it was tuned specifically to this vehicle for both good grip and you know for all the other conditions whether it be snow or sand right trying to get maximum traction oh yeah 
Because what fun is power if you can't hook, right? You got it. Where the rubber meets the road, right? <laughs> I'm just letting it creep forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's always a good sign when you're going through a bumpy section like that. If you don't have a bruise from the seatbelt, I'd say it did pretty well. <laughs> beautiful flared fenders. <laughs> so you called them forest pinstripes earlier? Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> There's this uh, comedian, he passed away in 2011, but he was talking about how Sci-Fi Channel would just rip off popular movies and give them like really obvious corny names. So he's like, yeah, if they, if they made their version of Jurassic Park, they'd call it Dinosaur Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I've never seen a Subaru do that. <laughs> this would be a nice option if you hit the performance page button. Oh, okay. You can actually watch your articulation. Yeah. Cool. All so right. if you would go to either this one, yeah, yeah, this will do it for you. Yep, so you can kind of watch your real time articulation. Okay. And then we're just going to keep on going down. Go ahead and lock it up all the way. Oh, okay. And then just come, come down and nice and slow. Oh, okay. So you got a little bit of a sideways crawl here, a little angled crawl. A little bit faster. Go ahead and lock it faster. And just roll straight on through. And just be cautious when you crest that steep hill up there, you got to turn immediately right. Yeah. Okay. and easy yeah okay cool no need for a lot of speed it'll just cool all right it'll just billy go right up and nice and easy nicely done this all day? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Might have to arm wrestle some of the other journalists. I'm ready for it. Wow, you can just hear that reverberating off everything. <laughs> and so these are hidden dealers this quarter, or fourth quarter, right? Correct. And do you know the price on this one in particular as it sits? Um, this one is probably about 88,000. Oh, okay. Um, like I said, it's it's very well optioned. Uh, TR2 with the Mopar uh, rock rails. Wow, that was short, but oh so sweet. Loved driving the 2021 Ram 1500 T-Rex. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please go ahead and click like below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to There Will Be Cars. I enjoy bringing new content to this channel and I hope you're here to see it. Thanks for watching.